Let's say you find yourself, um, you're trying to do focused work, you pick up your phone, you're disappointing yourself for, for picking up your phone. And so what turns out to be very effective is to go engage in some other positive habit. The first one is you start to link in time the execution of a bad behavior to this other good behavior. And in doing so, you start to recruit other neural circuits, other neurons that can start to somewhat dismantle the sequence of firing associated with the bad behavior. You literally exit whatever you are doing and perform that other new positive habit in the immediate period right after that, even for a short period of time. By changing the number of features that are in that loop, it disrupts the, the closed nature of that loop. Rather than trying to prevent yourself from doing it, the next time you do it, add in a new corridor sequence that you're trying to learn. What this does then is it changes the whole nature of the sequence of neurons that are firing from bad habit through to the end of this newly applied good habit.